decided to put this as a live stream just for people who are hopping in and want to see what this stream is all about. This is a tutorial on what to do and what not to do in the clinch. How to just how to be better. It's going to be slower and I'm going to show you exactly what to look for and, you know, get the keys that how to deny it, you know, what way to, you know, push the analog, all that good stuff. So, here we go. We are Anderson Silva and I'm Michael Bisbing as well. It just just so the computer doesn't get all out of hand and try to beat me up. Okay. Just for a simple clinch, right analog stick over. That's it. Nothing to it. No big deal, right? Okay. Muay Thai, hold L1, right analog stick over. Super easy. To deny that, it's just R2 and up. That's all it is. R2 and up. Denies that just like a takedown. Most of you will know that. Okay, if you're in the clinch, single collar is super easy once you get the hang of it. There's a few things to look for. Now, my number one rule about the clinch, and it's probably going to be about all my tutorials, is your stamina. Please, guys, watch your stamina. Uh, if you're a low stamina, you're going to get out grappled and outstruck no matter what position you're in. So pay attention to stamina. My second tip for you is to be patient in this position. Yes, he can do this. He can, he can be punching us in the face all day. All that's going to do is bring his stamina down to where we can move okay you can block those what I like to do my main thing is I'll block the body so if I'm blocking the body and he's he's over here and he's just trying to light me up to the body nothing's gonna happen okay nothing uh, I'm gonna block all his strikes yes he can hit me in the head but the reason why I say block to the body is because your hand is already on the R2 button you're holding it down so if you're holding it down already and he goes to move somewhere, you're going to deny him. It's just that easy, okay? Now to deny, thank you for joining the stream today. Yes, I was not going to do this as a live stream. You are correct. Um, but I decided to. But anyways, um, I don't know what happened to our chat box there, boys. Pause, pause for the calls for just one second. Okay, anyways, so we're Anderson Silva here, and I'm trying to show you. To move to tie clinch, just right analog stick over, okay? But did you see how long that transition was? That transition takes forever, okay? Forever, unless you block a strike. Blocking strikes makes it go faster. If you're on the defensive side of things, watch Michael Bisbee here. To go to over-under, his right hand is moving. As soon as the opponent starts his transition a hand will move left hand or right hand it it depends on which way if he's going to tie the back hand will move okay if he's going to over under the front hand moves to deny this it's super easy okay as soon as you see his left hand move just like that it's r2 because you're already holding it down to block the body i know you are as soon as you hold it down and he moves this, it's just R2 and the right analog stick away from you. Okay? That's it. Hold R2, right analog stick to the direction his hand is going. That's all it is. You will deny that every time. Now to deny the back... Oh, hang on. We have, we have a streamer here having some difficulties. Let me help him out. Okay, there you go, buddy. You should be alright. Alright, to deny the right hand, if he's going to go to Muay Thai, you see his back hand. As soon as you see that, guys, you're denying R2 with the right analog stick away. Okay? Just as soon as that comes, that's your key, okay? He can punch you in the face, but it, it's not going to go just like this unless he's trying to move. Alright? So that's R2 to his back. Back hand, you move to the right. Front hand, you move to the left holding R2. That will deny it all the time. Big key here. Big key is if I'm going to try, let's say I want to go to Muay Thai. You want to fake, okay? Especially if it's a stalemate and both of you guys are waiting, you're going to want to fake somewhere. And the way to do that is if I want to go to Muay Thai, I'll take the right analog stick and I'll fake just to transition to over under. Just, just flick it that way just for a second. Because that's going to 
show him, okay, he's going to over under, and he's going to deny R2 and to my back, to the left, to stop me. But you're really not doing that. You're going to flick it and then hold the right analog stick to tie. And you got it, okay? So let's let him go and we'll, we'll clinch back up with him. All right, that's, that's one key thing is faking transitions. You want to be patient and you want to deny first. As soon as you get in clinch, don't just start going because he's going to deny you. Most average players will be able to deny you if they know the keys, okay? Um, yes, they're right, buddy. It's one sub away. So please, if you're watching this video and you like it, please like the video and subscribe. I'm one sub from 100. Anyways, I'm getting off topic here. So you're going to want to fake transitions after you deny. So be patient. If he's hitting you, you know, stay. You can stay aggressive. You can, you know, hit hit him, mix him up, hit him with a knee, but try to always have your right hand ready for that denial. Because as soon as you see him going that way, you deny left. If he goes this way, you deny to the right. Okay. And if you want to take down, say you're a DC or somebody with good grappling, go ahead and fake the Muay Thai because they almost always are ready for that one. Okay. So fake the Muay Thai and shoot for a takedown. The way you do that is. Flick the right analog stick to the right, and then immediately, immediately after, hold the left L2 button, hold L2, and go for a takedown. He'll deny that, and you'll get a single leg takedown, okay? Because the game's going to register that he just tried to deny the Muay Thai clinch and not the takedown. So, it that easy, you're going to be able to get it. Okay, from Muay Thai, that's, that's the big key in single callers, be patient. Learn those denials, and after you do, fake a transition. It's so, so hard to deny that takedown. I promise you, your takedown rate is going to go through the roof. Yes, Mushy, I will, of course. Thank you for joining today. All right, we're in Muay Thai here. They have no offense in this position. So everybody you're going to fight is going to be holding the button, waiting to deny. Okay? If their hands are down, facing down, they're denying their body. If their hands are up, they're facing their, they're denying their face. So it's easy for you to tell. If they're doing this, quickly throw a body shot. It doesn't have to be a knee. It can be a strut, just a hook to the body. If they're holding down, the face is wide open. Go ahead and unload. Okay. To get out of this position, you'll see Bisbing. He's going to try his right hand to go to single collar or his left hand to go to single collar. This is a much harder position to deny because they're almost the exact same motions as you can tell but just like single collar if the left hand moves you're denying to the left if the right hand moves you're denying to the right okay that's all it is is just you're denying and you have this whole circle to deny so as long as you don't deny the wrong way you'll be able to stop that now if he's punching you, he's still got to go through that motion. He's still going to do that thing. It's super easy. Left denial, right denial, right there. Okay. As far as you're in offensive Muay Thai, you're looking for those to deny, and you're patient. You, when you get this position, don't just immediately start spamming punches, because he'll be able to get out. Deny a strike. If you deny a, or sorry, deny a transition. If you deny a transition then your next strike is going to be way more powerful. It's either going to hit him with an elbow and it'll rock him, or you hit him with a knee and you're going to get a knockdown because it's going to shoot his stamina down after you deny. So just, just be patient, man. That's, that's the key here. Just stay calm and be patient. Okay, you can move from this position to double under. Okay, either way, that hand is always moving. doesn't matter if you go right or left. To deny that, all you're doing on his side, since the back hand moves, you just deny to his back. Okay? That's all you do to deny that. And, and that's it. I mean, you can go to town here as long as you're patient. Okay? Deny first. Takedowns. Super easy in this position. You can almost always get a takedown uh, from Muay Thai because they're too focused on defending their head or defending their body. So that's super easy thing to get to deny it. Just R2 it down, just like a standard takedown. Uh, now we're gonna go to double under. Double under is a hard position to deny because you're so smashed together. It's hard to see what you're doing. 
Um, to go to back clinch, it's just to the right on the right analog. To deny the back clinch, you have to do to the right and to the back. Or, sorry, to the right and away. Muay Thai clinch, he's just, you're going to see him pull his hand down. That's your tail right there. If you're on the defensive here, the best thing to do is to get over under. That's the best thing to do, okay? So if they just transition to this, you're going to have a little bit of time to go to over under to get out. But he'll pull his left hand down to go to tie, and his back clinch, he'll start to spin, okay? He'll start to spin to get back clinch. Over under, if he wants to get over under with his left hand, his left hand will duck. If he wants to get it with his right hand, his right hand will move. The hands in the clinch, guys, please pay attention. Slow it down, do whatever you need to do. Pay attention to the hand. Left hand moves, you deny to the left. The right hand moves, you deny to the right. That is it. Clinch is so simple. That's all you have to do, right there. Just follow the hands. Doesn't matter if there's all this other jazz going on, just pay attention to the hands, okay? Back clinch. Uh, well, let's hold up on back clinch. We'll go to over under. Over under. You can break from over under just by that, okay? He'll lean back and try to push his hand down to deny the break. Pretty simple. Um, you just want to deny down. That's what I usually do. I'm pretty sure down works. Uh, double under. He's going to move this hand. I'm just giving you guys the tails. You can tell it's all about the hands, right? Go double under with Bisbee. Double under. He has, he has it. It's the same thing. It's just reversed, okay? Right hand moves. You deny backwards. If his left hand moves, you deny to the left. That's is it, man. Now go to back clinch with Michael. We're in back clinch. This is a nasty spot. You don't want to be here. Um, there's two things you can do. Automatically deny the takedown, which is R2 and down. That's how you stop this takedown. Um, if he throws your timing off just a little, he hits you with a knee, he's probably going to get this takedown anyway. Right? But quickly, if you can deny the takedown, if he goes to take you down and you deny it by pushing R2 and down, spin to over under. There you go. You spun to over under and you're free. You're back in a decent position to survive. Go back to this clinch and I'll show you that again. If he's trying to get out to the left, left hand moves. There it is, left hand moves. If she's trying to get out to the right, his right hand is going to move. He's going to start twisting to the right. That's how you tell what he's doing, okay? The big suplex from this position, pull you down. It's, it's way, way too easy to get a takedown from that position. I'm trying to help you guys to stop that from happening. All right, so we're Anderson here. We'll go to single collar. To get that quick takedown, you want to fake. It's that easy. I like to do whatever my left hand is, okay? I fake that way because that gets their attention. You know, you're watching what's happening. If you see this, your brain just tells you, okay, deny to the left. So as soon as you flip this, go ahead and switch to a trip or to a slam, anything, okay? That is, that is a huge, huge factor. It's fake transitions and not that many people do it, okay? So you're going to have a huge advantage just, just like this, okay? You're just faking that. He's going to deny that. As soon as he does, we're going to go for a double leg high, and you're going to scoop him and slam him into a huge position, okay? So just remember these keys. Remember what you're doing. This is the big one. Single collar is my favorite place to be, okay? Because it's so easy to tell. So just remember, pay attention. Right hand moves, you deny to the right. Left hand moves, you deny to his back, the left, okay? As soon as you deny, you will be able to get a takedown. You'll be able to advance your position, land a big strike, get out of it, anything you want to do. If you don't like this position, if you're, you're like, man, I hate the clinch, let's get out of here. Fake a transition and go up. Look how fast that was. That's, that's it, just fake up. And he's, he's denying the over-under. He already denied you're going to get out safely and secure so i hope this video helps you uh if it does please leave a like a thumbs up uh use that fake transition and just stay patient guys um, i'm going to be doing a striking tutorial the ground every ground position there is how to get out which way to defend so please just leave a like subscribe if you enjoyed it i hope it helps i really hope it helps but thank you guys for watching until next time